Hello, dear students. This is your engineering mathematics three lecture. Today's topic is scalar and vector point functions. This topic is from fifth unit vector calculus. See what is scalar and vector point function. See the other concept. Scalar point function or it is also called scalar field. If a scalar quantity phi depends for its value on its position, say x y z in space. Then phi of x y z is called scalar point function, and the examples are here: temperature, density, potential, etc. See, if a scalar quantity phi it depends for its value on its position in space, then that phi of x y z is called scalar point function. And the vector point function: if a vector quantity f bar depends for its value on its position x y z in space. Then f bar of x y z is called vector point function, and the examples are here: velocity and force. So these are the examples. Now the next concept is operator del or nabla. See, and this is the notation that uh, reverse triangle is the notation for the operator del. It is also called nabla. The vector differential operator i cap into del by del x plus J cap into del by del y plus K cap into del by del z is denoted by this symbol. This is the notation reverse triangle, and it is called del or nabla. This notation is called del or nabla. Okay, so the vector differential operator I cap into del by del x plus J cap into del by del y plus K cap into del by del z. The del by del x, del by del y, del by del z. These are the partial derivatives with respect to x, y, z respectively. Okay. And this is this is the value of operator del. Okay. Now gradient of a scalar. See what is the concept of gradient of a scalar. If phi of x y z is a scalar point function, and del operator operates on a scalar point function phi of x y z, we get a vector quantity del phi called gradient of the scalar point function phi of x y z. This is also written as gradient or simply grad phi. See how to represent the grad phi. Grad phi is equal to sorry. How to uh, write the gradient of a scalar? The phi is a scalar point function, and the operator del operates on a scalar point function phi. So we get a vector quantity del phi because del uh, is a vector quantity and phi is a scalar quantity. But still, the product of vector and one vector and one scalar is a vector quantity. So del Phi is a vector quantity, and it is called gradient of the scalar point function phi of x y z. This is also written as grad phi, or it is equal to del phi. This is the notation of del. Del into phi is equal to. Now you know that what is the value of del and what is phi. Del is i cap into del by del x plus j cap into del by del y plus k cap into del by del z into this phi. We should differentiate phi with respect to x, with respect to y, with respect to z. Okay, every time. And so this is nothing but your gradient of a scalar. Now next is directional derivative. Now del phi by del r phi is a scalar point function, and the rate represent del phi del del phi by del r represent the rate of change of phi in any other direction, and it is termed as directional derivative. Rate of change of phi, rate of change of scalar point function in any direction is termed as directional derivative. The directional derivative of phi along certain direction a bar is given by del phi or grad phi dot a cap. The directional derivative of phi along certain direction a bar along the direction of the vector a bar is given by grad phi dot a cap. A cap is the unit vector in the direction of a bar. If a vector a bar is given, then you find its unit vector a cap, and then the directional derivative of phi along The direction of a bar is given by del phi dot a cap. As a component of a vector is is maximum, as a component of a vector is maximum in its own direction. Therefore, the directional derivative is maximum in the direction of del phi only, and its maximum magnitude is given by mod of del phi. See, as a component of vector, as a component of vector is maximum. In its own direction, the components of a vector of any vector 
uh, is maximum in its own direction. Therefore, the directional derivative is maximum in the direction of grad phi del phi only. And its maximum magnitude is given by mod of del phi. This is a very important property of directional derivative. The directional derivative of function phi is maximum in the direction of grad phi only because the uh, component of a vector is maximum in its own direction. And the maximum magnitude is given by mod of del phi, mod of grad phi. Now the examples. Find the directional derivative of phi is equal to xy square plus yz square at 2 minus 1, 1 in the direction y cap plus j cap plus 3k cap. So how to find the directional derivative of the scalar point function phi at 2 minus 1, 1 in the direction of 2i plus j plus 3k. Consider here phi is equal to xy square plus yz square or it is a, a given thing that phi is equal to xy square plus yz square. Now what is grad phi? The grad phi term is here i cap into del phi by del x plus j cap into del phi by del y plus k cap into del phi by del z. Here it is written, the term of grad phi. Now discuss it here. Grad phi is equal to del phi is this term. We are writing the formula only here, grad phi. Now del phi is equal to, now del phi by del x. Now this is the phi scalar point function for this particular example. Now you differentiate this phi with respect to x, keeping y and z constant. So derivative of x is 1, y square as it is, plus y and z are constant when we are differentiating with respect to x, so the second term is 0. So it is the derivative is y square plus 0 only, plus j cap as it is, del phi by del y, derivative of phi with respect to y. Now when we are differentiating with respect to y, x and z are constant. So that x as it is, derivative of y, y square is 2y. So the first term derivative is 2xy plus yz square. Derivative with respect to y is, uh, derivative of y is 1, so z square as it is. So the derivative is 2xy plus z square plus k cap. Derivative of phi with respect to z. Derivative of phi with respect to z. The first term uh, contains only x and y variables, so the derivative is 0. Second term contains y and z variable. So derivative of phi with respect to z is 2yz. Z square derivative is 2z. Y as is y as it is. So it is 2yz. Okay. So del phi is equal to this term. Now the value of del phi or grad phi at 2 minus 1, 1. This is point P. It is the coordinates are 2 minus 1, 1. So Del phi at 2 minus 1, 1 is equal to, now put x is equal to 2, y is equal to minus 1, z is equal to 1 in this grad phi. And if we put these values and simplify it, then we have the value of grad phi at 2 minus 1, 1, it is equal to i cap minus 3j cap minus 2k cap. This is your answer of del phi or grad phi at 2 minus 1, 1. Okay. Now consider the given direction as u bar. Now we are, we are going to find the directional derivative in the direction of this vector 2i plus j, 2i cap plus j cap plus 3k cap in, in the direction of this vector. Suppose this vector is u bar. Suppose it is u bar. So the given direction as u bar. u bar is equal to 2i cap plus j cap plus 3k cap. This is the given vector. Now the formula to find the directional derivative in the direction of given vector is equal to del phi dot u cap. u cap means unit vector of in the direction of u bar. How to calculate the unit vector? Its formula is u cap is equal to u bar upon mod of u bar. You divide the vector by its magnitude, you will get the unit vector in the same direction. So u cap is equal to 2i cap plus j cap plus 3k cap upon mod of u bar. How to find the magnitude Magnitude of u bar, magnitude of u bar means mod of u bar. It is under root, under root. The square of first coefficient, the square of first term uh, coefficient is 2, square of 2 plus middle coefficient is 1. You find the, uh, take the square of that term plus square of third term, coefficient of third term. Uh, third coefficient is 3 and the square is square of 3. And you just do the addition of all the uh, terms and then you take the square root that will be the magnitude of the given vector. Okay. 
ओके तो यार यू कैप इज इक्वल टू टू आई प्लस जे कैप प्लस थ्री के कैप अपॉन द डिनोमिनेटर टर्म टू स्क्वेर फोर प्लस वन स्क्वेर वन प्लस थ्री स्क्वेर नाइन सो यू जस्ट डू द एडिशन एंड इट इज इक्वल टू फोर्टीन सो यू कैप इज इक्वल टू टू आई कैप प्लस जे कैप प्लस थ्री के कैप अपॉन अंडर रूट फोर्टीन सो दिस इज द यूनिट फैक्टर डायरेक्शन ऑफ यूबा नाउ डायरेक्शनल डेरिवेटिव ऑफ पाय एट टू माइनस वन वन इन द डायरेक्शन ऑफ यूबा डायरेक्शनल डेरिवेटिव ऑफ पाय एट टू माइनस वन वन इन द डायरेक्शन ऑफ यूबा इज इक्वल टू डेल्फाय एट टू माइनस वन वन डॉट यू कैप सो इट इज डेल्फाय एट टू माइनस वन वन इज टू आई प्लस जे प्लस थ्री के टू आई कैप सी वॉट इज डेल्फाय एट टू माइनस वन वन Its value is here. So I calculated it. It is i cap minus three, j cap minus two, k cap, and so you write here that value. Dot dot u cap. What is u cap? Is two i plus j plus three k, two i cap plus j cap plus three k cap upon under root under root fourteen, and then you do the uh, dot product of these two vectors. Dot product of these two vectors is i cap dot i cap uh, is one. Because i cap dot i cap, we have discussed the uh, dot product of two vectors in previous lecture also. I cap dot i cap the angle between i cap and i cap is zero. So cos zero is one. So you just do the uh, multiplication of coefficient. Coefficient of i cap in first vector is one. In second vector it is two. Two into one, two. Uh, then middle term coefficients multiplication minus three into one minus three. Then the multiplication of third term coefficients minus two into three, three to the six minus sign is there for two, it is minus six upon under root fourteen as it is, and if we simplify it, it is minus seven upon under root fourteen. So this is the directional derivative of pi at two minus one one in the direction of u bar. Okay, this is the answer minus seven upon under root fourteen. Now next example is find the directional derivative of pi of x y z. In the direction normal to the surface, x square y plus x y square plus y z square is equal to three. At i j i cap plus j cap plus k cap, find the directional derivative of pi in the direction normal to the surface. Means here the vector is not given. In which direction we have to find out the directional derivative? We have to find out that vector, and the direction is normal to the surface. The surface equation is given. We have to find out the uh, normal to the to this given surface at i cap plus j cap plus k cap. So you first find del phi or grad phi, its value at the point i cap plus j cap plus k cap. So phi is here. Phi is equal to x y z. Then grad phi, del phi. This is the definition or uh, formula of del phi. And now here the particular function, scalar point function, phi is x into y into z. So del phi by del x, derivative of phi with respect to x is y z plus j cap as it is, derivative of phi with respect to y is here x z plus k cap as it is, derivative of phi with respect to z is x into y. Okay. So del phi is this term. Now here to find the directional derivative of phi at i cap plus j cap plus k cap. Means here the coefficient of i j k are here one one one, and so here the point P is this is the position vector of the point P, and the co coordinates are uh, one one one. Okay, so del phi its value at one 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 is equal to. Now here in this grad phi you put x is equal to one y is equal to one z is equal to one, then you will get the value of grad phi at one one one. And it is equal to i cap plus j cap plus k cap. Okay, this uh, in the given example, i cap plus j cap plus k cap is the position vector. And from this position vector, you can find the coordinates of point P. Or uh, the coordinates of i cap comma j cap comma k cap. Coordinate of i cap is one, or j cap is one, k cap it is one. Okay. So this is the value of grad phi at one one one. Now here u bar is not given. In which direction we are going to find the directional derivative? Here u bar is not given. To find u bar, here consider f as a given surface. That uh, equation of surface is given. We have to find out the normal to the surface. Now f is f is equal to x square 
y plus x y square plus y z square minus three. Uh, you shift this uh, three in LHS so that you will get x square y plus x y square plus y z square minus three is equal to zero. This is the equation of surface. Now we are going to find normal to this surface. Now del del f represent the vector no vector normal to f. Vector normal to the vector sorry normal to the surface f is nothing but del phi. So the del f or grad phi. You just calculate grad phi. This is nothing but the normal to the given surface. And we are going to find the directional derivative in the same direction of normal to the surface. So del phi will give you grad phi will sorry del f will be will give you normal to the given surface. So del f you know what is del. Uh, so you can write the formula of del phi. It is just like grad phi. In place of phi, you just write f here. See here we have written the same formula, del phi. In place of phi, you just you press f because the surface equation is given. And when we are going to find normal to the surface, the formula is you just find the gradient of that surface. That will be nothing but the normal to the surface. Gradient of f is equal to. Now gradient of f is equal to del f by del x. Now differentiate f with respect to x. And you find out the derivative, it is 2xy plus y square plus j cap into del, del f by del y. Differentiate this function f with respect to y. The derivative is x square plus 2xy plus z square plus k cap into derivative of f with respect to z. You differentiate this function f with respect to z. Then you will get the derivative. It is 2yz. Okay. After finding del f, you find out its value to find del f at 1, 1, 1. Why? Because it is given in the example. We are going to find the directional derivative of pi of is equal to pi of x, y, z is in the direction of normal to the surface. You first find normal to the surface at i cap plus j cap plus k cap. So this is a position vector. So the coordinates are 1, 1, 1. So we are going to find the normal to the surface at point 1, 1, 1. So this is the equation of normal del f or grad f is the, this is the equation of normal to the surface, but we want its value at particular point one, 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 because it is given. So you put x is equal to one, y is equal to one, z is equal to one in this equation, and then you'll get del f at one, one, one. It is nothing but three i cap plus four j cap plus two k cap. Okay, so after finding del f at one, 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 so this is this is nothing but your u bar. The del f at one 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 is nothing but your u bar. So the vector u bar is three i cap plus four j cap plus two k cap. In which direction we are going to find the directional derivative? Now this is u bar, so you find its unit vector u cap. How to find? You just divide the vector u bar by its magnitude mod of u bar. Then you will get u cap. So write in numerator u bar as it is. In denominator the magnitude of u bar. How to find? You just do the uh, square of every term of u bar and, all, and then uh, add all the terms. Then you take the square root. 3 square plus 4 square plus 2 square. And then do the addition and then just find the square root. So it is 3i cap plus 4j cap plus 2k cap upon under 29. This is the unit vector in the direction of u bar. Now we are going to find the directional derivative of pi in the direction of u bar. It is equal to del phi at 1, 1, 1 dot u cap. Now del phi at 1, 1, 1, we have calculated it initial, initially. And its value is here, del phi at 1, 1, 1 is i cap plus j cap plus k cap. And should I have the, the value? You write down there that value. So it is del phi at 1, 1, 1 is i cap plus j cap plus k cap dot u cap. What is u cap here? Three i cap plus four j cap plus two k cap upon under root twenty nine, and then under root uh, denominator term under root twenty nine as it is, a bar dot b bar uh, means the dot product two vectors. We know how to find. We just do the dot product of two vectors here, which are here in numerator. So the coefficient of i cap, j cap, and k cap, their product, and then add all the terms. I cap, I cap coefficients. 1 and 3, multiplication is 3 plus middle term, 
coefficients are one and four. Multiplication is four plus k cap dot k cap. Coefficients are two and one. Multiplication is two. So numerator four plus two, six plus three, nine. So it is nine upon under root twenty nine. So this is the directional derivative of pi in the direction of normal to the given surface at i cap plus j cap plus k cap. So this is the answer. So here we have discussed gradient of pi. Gradient of a scalar point function, and few examples on directional. We have also discussed directional derivative. We have discussed few examples on directional derivative. Directional derivative of function of scalar point function, and now we are going to stop here. This session is over. Thank you.